A pregnant lady comes to the hospital in her first trimester. Her reports confirm raised levels of antibodies. Which of the following is true? IgM to toxoplasma and has high risk of transmission. IgG to toxoplasma and has low risk of transmission. IgM to toxoplasma and has low risk of transmission. IgG to toxoplasma and has high risk of transmission. First of all, uh, we should understand this is not a question in which you should know the diagnostic values or the diagnostic test for toxoplasmosis. This particular question just try to check your knowledge of different antibodies when they appear, what is the kind of infection uh, they appear in, and what do they reveal, right? So, first of all, I should tell that IgM is an antibody that appears in an acute infection and it is a transient antibody. It is a transient antibody and it generally appears immediately after an infection and after some time it disappears. Then we have IgG. Now this IgG tells you the previous infection or the chronic infection. Actually this particular IgG antibody appears after some time of the infection, right? So IgM generally appears first and after some time of IgM when it starts decreasing, its level starts decreasing, then you have the IgG that starts increasing and it persists for a longer duration of time, right? So if I just say IgM generally tells you the acute infection, I won't be wrong. At the same time, that is a transient indicator. At the same time, it is showing you the recent infection if it is increasing, right? And all these things tells you the recent primary infection of toxoplasmosis in this particular case. But in any case, yes, that tells you the primary infection which is very recent, right? Because uh, you see the raised level of antibodies is there, right? So we can uh, rule out two questions from here. IgM to toxoplasma and has high risk of transmission. Then you see IgG to toxoplasma and has low risk of transmission. IgM to toxoplasma and has low risk of transmission. Now this IgM, since it is there, right, it has started, that means there is a recent primary infection and the antibodies are increasing. That means this carries high risk of transmission, right, in the first trimester itself. It will be carrying, if it's a primary infection, so it will carry high risk of transmission. So we can rule out this particular question, uh, option, option 3. Then IgG to toxoplasma has high risk of transmission. Again, now there is something called IgG AVDT. IgG AVDT and that tells you if its values are low. If AVDT, IgG AVDT, uh, if the values are generally low, then it tells you that there is high risk of transmission. And if its values are high, that tells you that there is low risk of transmission. So they haven't mentioned AVDT here. So we won't be going with the high risk or low risk here. Yeah, uh, before I just continue this discussion, I should show you this particular graph. Here you will be seeing that the IgM is positive and IgG may be negative or it may be positive but if there is low avidity, low avidity of IgG that means that is a recent infection, recent infection along with high risk of transmission, high risk of transmission. Okay, so whenever you see IgM is positive, that means if you see here, this is the antigen. Okay, now this particular is the IgM pattern A. That means you can see the IgM has increased a lot. Generally in female, in the first trimester, you don't have a lot of IgM. And yes, your IgG are lesser. This is your IgG. So this is lesser than the IgM and that tells you the pattern of acute infection. So that means there is a recent infection in which you see a lot of IgM patterns. At the same time, there will be low IgG. At the same time, there will be low avidity. That means that this particular infection is a recent primary infection because IgM are high 
and this has high risk of transmission because you see the raised level of antibodies which are IgM here. So answer to this question without any doubt should be IgM to toxoplasma and has high risk of transmission. So quickly walking through the key concept also the first trimester is more uh, severe infection can be seen here and the third more chances of transmission are there that is a different case but here if you see the diagnosis IgM dissection detection in fetal blood then IgM can also be used because it is having very good sensitivity if it is found that means it is a acute infection recent infection with high transmission rate right although you can use toxoplasma antigen in the amniotic fluid or PCR to detect the toxoplasma gene so coming back to the question answer one IgM to toxoplasma with a high risk of transmission from mother to the child is going to be the correct answer